I've mixed the, uh, the venison and the beef fat up in here already. So to this we're going to add our game changer seasoning, just in on top. I've had a nice little play around with either venison or, or pheasant. I like to add the beef fat to the venison because it just helps to sort of enhance that richness. But I use pork fat with, with pheasant. And then it's just a case of picking whatever flavours you like. I quite like an onion sort of base. And you can use sort of some chutneys and things to put in there. Some homemade chutneys really go well. And mum's always proud when you use her chutney or something. We got a bit of Worcester sauce, which just sort of brings out the flavour and adds a bit more depth into it. And we probably, we've used about 20 ml of, of Worcester sauce. So it's not a lot, but it just adds a bit. I didn't cook a lot when, with mum when I was younger, but it was when I got to university and had to cook for myself. And a friend and I were the only ones out of six of us in the house who had ever sort of cooked game before. So we thought, right, we'll, we'll introduce the other four to some game. Um, and within that season, we got 150 birds off the local shoot and just had a really good play around. I started making sausages, did some goujons, did some roasts, just had a really good play around with it all. I just thought, why don't we do this on a bit of a bigger scale? So at the moment, I'm using egg as a binder. In our, all of our products, we use gluten-free rusk, which, again, just from experimenting and playing around, I realise doesn't change the taste at all, but obviously adds that gluten-free benefit. Just whilst you're at home, egg is a really good one, just to nice and easy to use and a bit easier to get hold of, obviously. So it just helps to keep everything, keep everything together and bind that fat to the to the meat. Obviously, venison being as lean as it, as it is, the egg just helps to hold that fat into the meat. When you first put that egg in, it's, it's sort of almost quite sloppy, so you want to mix it right in, and you'll feel it start to bind together and almost start to stick to your hand. We haven't got any any today, but um, a really nice touch is just to sort of smear some chutney onto the pastry beforehand, and you get that sort of coating, outer coating of chutney. But we're just gonna grab a load of this, roll it up in our hands, and just place this one in the middle of the pastry there. If you make it too thick, it becomes quite hard to roll. Roll and just press it all together. Uh, this is just the Just Roll pastry. That get home in a real supermarket. I mean, I think it's absolutely perfect for doing anything at home. Um, puff pastry works really well with sausage roll because obviously when it's in the oven, the meat expands slightly and the, sort of pa the puff pastry just sort of holds it all in. So, a bit of egg wash on the side that you're going to fold over, which just helps it stick together. Just a light coating down the top of the meat. And this is sort of easier with, um, with cold pastry because it doesn't quite sort of stretch too much. We're just going to pick it up, quite simply, roll it over the top. Yeah, so we're stretching the edges and we're just going to use the end of the fork just to sort of crimp the edges there. And then all we're going to do is finish it off with a bit of egg wash on top. There we go. Now if you want to cut it up, a really good tip is just stick it in the freezer for five minutes, even less than that, and it'll just sort of harden up a little bit and make it a little bit easier to cut. Put them in the oven at 180 degrees for 25 minutes or until they are golden brown. And while they cook, Jack explains a bit more about the business he started this year, the Exmoor Game Company, which supplies pies, cooked game meats and, of course, game meat sausage rolls. I wanted to try something a bit different um, and, and not follow the rest of my peers to London and everything. Um, I love the countryside. I love being out here. Um, and, yeah... More misty mornings like this, it's just it's lovely to be out and about, and so I wanted to bring that into something that I was passionate about. Our sort of mission statement and, and ethos is really, like a lot of people have said, make game more accessible and affordable. But I think we're approaching it from a slightly different area. We're much more focusing on social media, and uh, when we can, get out there and, and talk to as many people as possible. Um, with a focus on primarily accessible products, sausages, burgers, sausage rolls. So we've been hugely surprised at the sort of uptake of it. Our sort of biggest following at the moment on Instagram is actually the younger generation, which is is brilliant. But we've got, yeah, all sorts from, from shoots to people trying game for the first time to sort of the 16 to 25 year old market. I think we had two orders go out to the University of Bristol this week, so that was absolutely thrilling. For more about Jack's products, visit the Exmoor Game Company.com.